Hey, I have a bone to pick with some people. I was just painting today, innocently, around 5 p.m. And I got a FaceTime from my friends saying, when are we moving out? And I was like, what do you mean? And then I saw an email from my college telling me, everyone must be moved out by Sunday. The halls are closing down. Didn't I say last week that something might happen? And also, didn't I mention that if they want us to move out, they should have done it before spring break? Because technically, we're all on spring break right now. Half of NYU isn't there. Mind you, 20% are international. They've all moved back, probably, expecting to come back April 19th because they can't move everything on a plane. Not only are most flights out of the USA canceled, which they should be, but like, Every international student, I would say, doesn't have a way to come back if they've already left. Like, I know a friend who just went to Mexico, just got there for their vacation, and then they get this notification. I'm not targeting NYU. I'm mainly talking about every college in general that has refused to cancel college since the moment this virus has become apparent in the U.S. They should have known. Let's cancel it. Harvard canceled it. UPenn canceled. Temple have... Yes? They were all aware of it and have moved everyone out. And I just can't help but think the reason NYU was so reluctant, which they don't really have an excuse because coronavirus is most apparent in New York. We are one of the biggest schools in general and we're in the middle of New York. It's a hot spot. It's asking for this to just spread. For them to say, no, you're gonna come back April 19th and we're not gonna give you a refund for the whole entire semester. To me, it's just like, do you care about the welfare of your students or do you care about the money you're gonna get? Because now they said they have to refund us. And I hope that every other college, every other public school, has realized that this is a serious issue. Letting these kids and us as students, even though we're teenagers, go to school in a public area is just asking for this virus to spread because we don't have to get sick to spread it. My aunt and uncle are here and they're in their 60s. My parents are in their 50s. They're more likely to get it than me and suffer from it. And they said, if you can't make it, we'll ship it back to you. But also like, how accurate is your shipping gonna be? You're going to miss some stuff. So you're basically have to go. Like I originally filled out the survey and my sister said, you should just fill it out and and say like have them ship it here because it's too risky for us to go there with aunt and uncle home and my dad's like but don't you have everything there and there's no way they'll get all of that like you know they're gonna miss something so i have to end up going right now i'm going right now like i just got this email 30 minutes ago and you're gonna come with me day five of quarantine do you want to guess who he was with a random ass girl that i had never seen oh. before in my entire life all right update we have paid the new york toll my dad has provided us with N95 masks, hand sanitizer, multi-surface wipes, gloves, all these boxes. Thank you for driving me. No! Oh my god, my hands are look the same. Okay, masks are on. Back in my apartment. Let's move out. Hello, this is that ASMR Asian. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I won't. You can't see this, but I'm sweating so much during this whole time because it's a lot of energy moving back. And I was not in the mood because I expected to move back three months after. And no, I'm not fucking Jamaican. That's my roommate, actually. I don't know why everyone thinks I'm Jamaican just because there was a flag in a video. All right, round one of moving carts. I'm sweating real hard. First trip done. I'm gonna go back up and get more. This is round two. There's not enough room in this car. One more round, one more round. We can do it in one more round, I bet. Hear that alarm? That's what's going on in my head right now. Just constant stress. Because this elevator won't. We just have this. And then the refrigerator is left. Answer now. Can we A, fit this all in? B, leave the refrigerator behind, or C, leave this mattress topper behind. This should be our last round, then we just have to get the refrigerator. What do you think? Yeah, that's yeah. good. I'm bringing in the dolly to carry the refrigerator now. Go ahead. <sighs> Finally back home, it's been like four hours and I have to immediately take a shower. Immediately. Don't mind the quaff that is growing on my head right now. I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll wake up early tomorrow to start moving everything. I have to move everything, I have to organize everything, and I have to wash everything and fold all my clothes again probably. <sighs> At least I get something to do during this quarantine. Spring break is great, honestly. Just great. Goodbye. Good morning. So I'm gonna spend the whole day trying to see if I can move everything from my car to the front door, then from the front door to the basement. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I have to organize everything, everything. You know how much I brought to college. I know it's too much, but I require a lot. And <laughs> in general, this is a lot people have to deal with. So yeah, I'm gonna time-lapse the whole thing because this is gonna be at least three hours. 
think this is a pretty good look. I'm currently listening to my Spotify playlist called Killing It because I just killed all the bacteria on my hands. I just disinfected everything. If you have bad breath, this is just torture, by the way. So, chew gum. All right, let the time lapse begin. Am I a man now? Am I a masculine gay? Look how dirty this pillow is. The whole dolly wheel got in. I have to wash that. I have to wash everything. Fucking New York is gross, man. I'm also talking to myself in the middle of an empty neighborhood. Small town vibes. Also, the reason why my family isn't helping me is because I'm an independent woman. And also, I don't want them to catch anything that came from New York. Tell me if you have a mom that hoards plastic bags. This is all of the extra plastic bags she gave us. It's getting hot. It's 50 degrees and it's already getting hot. Just wanted you guys to know that the reason why I'm wearing a mask is because my dad forced me to, like there was no way I was gonna get out of it. I am aware that people who actually don't have the sickness shouldn't be buying so many and it should be more reserved for people in hospitals and people who actually do have a sickness. Don't bother commenting about it. But I know this seems like it took a long time, but it only took around 20 minutes, but it was very exhausting. So I counted this as my exercise for the past three days. Okay. Everything is moved out besides the bags and the refrigerator. All I have to do is move the dolly and then everything will be technically inside the house. Oh shoot, wait, I almost forgot. Most important thing. Oh my god. I'm going to organize from the front door. So like slowly take things I need upstairs and everything else will go to the basement. Even though there's no room anywhere because I hoard shit. It's gonna take at least an hour to organize though, let me tell you. And I was wrong, it took an hour and 30 minutes actually. Like, look at all of this shit that I brought home. <laughs> I know, I know, okay? My parents have told me that I brought too much. My sister has told me that I brought too much. My vision though, was to bring everything that I would ever need in college and slowly bring it home during the second semester, which I did. I did start taking stuff home, but my plan sort of got sidetracked because of a virus. And here's a look of someone who has just been through too much in one day. Look at how much we have. This goes on and on and on. And I have to organize all of it. You know, I was not aware that my voice could make that sound, but I, it did. So what I'm doing right now is taking everything from the end and putting it in a room where it has to go. So I have three rooms down there. There's one to the left is my bedroom. The one in the middle is my filming room. And the one to the right is the bathroom. I basically just made subcategories for all of my items. And I also started washing the dirty clothes and plushies that I had. So this is everything that needs to go to the basement. This is all the recycling. This is just extra plastic bags that my mom gave me and as you can see all that shit yes that all that shit goes into a bedroom somehow and all of this shit somehow fits into a filming room here's all the shit that has to go in the bathroom and yes i am dying honestly i felt like the bathroom took the longest to do even though i knew it was the shortest because the amount of stuff i have just for my skin is unhealthy you don't have to remind me i started at the top trying to see like what do i want to display to the public and in each cabinet i created categories that i'll explain later on but i was trying to find a place to put my castor oil because i like to comb it through my eyebrows and eyelashes because i have none but i think I spilled a whole tablespoon of castor oil onto the bath mat and I had to wipe that up with baby wipes. I'm so good. You gotta see this. Bam. Look at it. Ooh. So my sister is here, so this is her side. This is currently all I use on my face from day to night. So this side is the morning routine and this side is the nighttime routine. Over here we have like chapstick, floss, just like little miscellaneous things. Down here is just some extra tools for skincare. They're also included right here. In here, we have all my extra stuff that isn't skincare. This is all my extra skincare. Yes, it's a lot, don't remind me. In the case of an apocalypse, I have to be prepared. So I have backups for my backups. These are all of the sheet masks I have. These are all of the other masks I have. And most of it I bought with my money, okay? Like 95%. Because guess what? Companies don't really like it when your name has Midget Asian in it. All right, on to the next room, my bedroom. We're getting very intimate. <laughs> I wanted to start off with my closet first because back in my dorm, I had my closet dedicated to all of my button-ups and jackets, but there was a lot of random shit in there that I've shoved in, so I had to take it all out first. Throughout this whole process, I realized I have too many clothes, and most of them that you see right now will eventually go up on my Depop. You all know I went through like the phase of wearing colors every day, but now I'm muted, and I also have no reason to dress up because I'm not going to see anyone for the next semester, so I'm going to start selling them and donating them. Now, this whole part is just me taking different bags from outside because I have 
have so many clothes just in random places. Putting them onto my bed, having to fold them, sometimes staring at a piece of clothing for five minutes straight, trying to determine if it gave me joy, like I actually Marie Kondoed all of my clothes. And it worked, I got rid of about half of them. I also had to organize all of my hangers and attach hangers to every clothing that I plan to sell, which is very counterproductive because I basically took them off in the beginning and then put them back on at the end. Also, let me know if there's a better way to organize sweaters because they take up too much space in my dresser, like they took up two shelves and then that made me how to force my t-shirts and shorts into a small box, which is not ideal, but I know I can't hang on my sweaters. I learned that the hard way. You guys know I fucking hate the summer and I will wear sweaters and jeans throughout the whole year, which is why I would have two dressers with long sleeves. This also made me resort to putting my hoodies on the side tables that I have. You would think I would just put them in the closet, but no, my brain doesn't function that way. The moment it said this closet is going to be for button ups and jackets, I meant that. Y'all ain't ready for this, okay? Accessories, more accessories. Don't, don't ask why my mom put that there. Fragrances, sweaters, part one. Sweaters, part two. T-shirts, shorts, jeans, athleisure. <laughs> all button ups, all jackets, all belts. All my socks, hats, scarves, miscellaneous. I am amazing at this, but I'm also so tired. Like my legs are sore from walking back and forth so much. I think I want to take a break and try to finish the rest tonight because I only have one room left. But that's also like everything else goes in that room. We'll see. So I did end up doing some of the work this last until 3 a.m. Because this room is god awful to organize. This whole room houses all of my electronics, anything related to art, and just random storage. Also peek the Minecraft painting that I finally finished if you follow my Twitter. If you don't, I'm very offended. Follow my fucking Twitter. Oh yeah, and then I passed out. Alright, so this is the last day. Almost done. Uh, I'll see how long this takes. I have a full duffel bag of clothes to donate, and I also have another full closet of clothes I'm gonna sell in my Depop. I was gonna wait until the summer, but looks like I can start now because I'm not going back to college. So this is the final time lapse. Don't really have much to say except if you want a room tour, uh, let me know in the summertime because I was very proud of how this ended up, even though it didn't take that long actually. The bedroom actually took three hours and this one only took an hour to do. It just felt very long to me because no matter how much I organized, the floor would still feel like a mess just because of how many bags were there so then my stress level went up obviously but technically this is the end of my college semester in new york because i'm officially moved out and now i just have online classes to do i'm still going to go to new york though because there are some youtubers that i plan to meet eventually if you know you know that's all i'll say all right, we're basically done. This is all the painting stuff. I just had to take all the decorations from college and shove them all here. You know, calendar stuff, humidifier, other temporary decorations. No, that is not a mural. <laughs> It's not a mural. Oh wait, hold on, I forgot the best part. Bam, we got lights again. So everything is finally done. I might do a room redecoration in this room in the summer. Like I said, everything is temporary. I have no will to decorate actually and like put effort because I know if I decorate now, I'm just gonna have to move it to college anyways. But we'll see. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos every week. I want you to hit that notification. Hit it. That ruined my lens. <laughs> As always, I love you guys, and everything is less than three. I have a midterm due now, too. <laughs>